Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and today on TMI Tuesdays where I cover a topic that you want to know but are too afraid to ask, I'm going to tell you what your pee means. Now I did a video on what your poop means and if you haven't seen that I will link it down below but we all pee probably more than we poo. Actually not probably, we should be peeing more than we poo. If you are pooing more than you pee, I think we have an issue here. So I'm gonna give you five different factors to look for in your pee to make sure that you're healthy. And surprisingly, pee can reveal a lot about your state of health. So we're gonna look for first the different kinds of colors, the smells, how many times you go to the bathroom, and the texture of the pee. And yes, there is different kind of textures of pee. So number one, what color is your pee? Is it a dark yellow color or is a, a light yellow, yellow color? Your pee should be a lightish yellow color and that means you are staying hydrated. If it is a darker yellow color, that means you are dehydrated and this makes total sense because the waste particles are more concentrated which will give your pee a darker color. So make sure your pee is always a light color and you are good to go. Number two, is your pee red or is there blood in the pee? Now this is a very serious concern. You should definitely go get a doctor to check it out. There could be kidney infection, failure, or a certain kind of trauma that doctor can diagnose. So no medical advice on red or blood in your pee go to the hospital. Number three is how does your pee smell? Well, have you noticed that eating different kinds of veggies make your pee smell different? For example, have you ever noticed when you eat asparagus, your pee smells like asparagus? And when you drink coffee or um, intake a lot of caffeine, your pee also smells <laughs> like coffee. <laughs> if your pee smells like ammonia, it might mean that you have a kidney infection or kidney stones. Pee that smells sweet could mean that you have diabetes or pre-diabetes because your body can't break the sugars down. Four is how many times you have to go to the bathroom. Now, maybe TMI, but I always need to pee. I'm just, I'm always one of those friends who's like at dinner, I'm always the first to be like, oh my God, where's the restroom? Cause I have a small bladder. So the average amount of time people need to use the restroom is about six to eight times a day. And obviously it depends on how much you drink, what you're drinking and other factors like the size of your bladder. I know for me, if I drink a lot of caffeine or tea or coffee, um, even though I tried to cut out coffee, <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom like all the time. So we're going to talk about the next thing to look for in your pee, which is, is your urine foamy? So you gotta kinda ascertain whether your pee just hit the water too hard that caused it to be foamy or if it actually is foamy. Now foamy, I mean like whipped cream foamy. I'm just kidding, no. Foamy pee means that there are proteins in your pee when you normally shouldn't be having proteins in them because your kidneys are supposed to be filtering them out. So if you do think you are having foamy pee regularly and consistently, go see a doctor to figure out if you have something wrong with your kidneys. So that is all I have to talk about for five things to look for in your pee. I hope this helped educate you a little bit about your pee and what to look for because your pee and your poo can definitely tell you about the conditions in your diet and health. And let me know in the comments below what you want to talk, uh, what you want me to talk about for the next episode of TMI Tuesdays because on every Tuesday I cover a topic that you want to know but are too afraid to ask. And don't forget to follow me on my social media channels, for example, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You guys asked how to bleach your butthole <laughs> and I'm going to be talking about that. Now this is um, compiled from research.